again everyone. Um, I thought I'd do another quick video for you today um, just to show you how to make up um, your fertilizers using um, EI salts. Um, EI stands for estimative index um, and it's one of the easiest ways um, to take control of the fertilizers in your tank because um, obviously when you see certain deficiencies you can up certain chemicals you can lower certain chemicals um, this is a lot cheaper than buying bottles from your local fish shop um, of pre-made fertilizers um, I'm going to add some links into the um, information for this video um, one will be a, a guide on EI salts um, and the other one will be um, a link to a place where you can buy the salts um, they even do um, a starter kit uh, with everything you need so it's got dosing bottles um, it's got the the initial salts um, just to make things even easier for you and the first thing you're going to need obviously is a dosing bottle um, this is a 500 ml dosing bottle um, so it does last for quite a while you're going to need 500 ml of boiled and cooled water um, you don't want to use boiled like hot water that's freshly boiled you need to let it cool down um, so it's just slightly warm or cold but it must be boiled um, the, the three main um, salts you're going to use is potassium phosphate potassium nitrate and magnesium sulfate um, these will make up your macro um, fertilizers. Um, I dose this on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday um, and then I use um, a trace fertilizer um, on the Tuesday and Thursday but I don't dose at the weekends because um, I do my water change um, and I just let the, the tank sit. Um, so what you want to do is I mix everything up in a separate container. Um, I use a tried and trusted measurement for my tanks, um, but I'll give you a link um, to a special calculator where you just put the volume um, of water you've got in your tank and it will tell you exactly how much of each of the salts you need to add. Um, so the first one I'm going to add is potassium phosphate, um, and I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of this. Um, it doesn't ma matter whether you used heap teaspoons or level teaspoons as long as you keep it consistent um, for each of the salts. Um, so I tend to use level teaspoons. So as I said, I'm going to add two teaspoons of potassium phosphate. Next I'm going to add the potassium nitrate and I am going to want 6 teaspoons of this let's say keep them all constant 2 and next I'm going to add the magnesium sulfate now I'm going to want tea, uh, 12 teaspoons of magnesium sulfate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, in there you can see all the salts that I've added. Just give it a mix up. Now, all I do is take the lid off the dosing bottle, obviously, the larger side. Just cut my fingers round, and then I just tip it into the bottle. And 
Then what you want to do is get your 500 mils of cooled boiled water. And then put the lid on. You can see the salt at the bottom there. So all you do is make sure the lids are nice and tight. Give it a good shake. And that's it. All dissolved. Uh, as you can see, I've written on the amounts I use onto the container. So I'll never forget it. Um, and that's what I dose. I dose 10 mil per 50 litres. Um, so obviously um, I've got a, um, I think it's a 160 litre tank downstairs, um, So, but I just dose um, 30 mils um, per day on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday of that. Now on the Tuesday and the Thursday I dose um, the trace. Um, which is the micronutrients. So I've got another 500 ml bottle and I just use um, chelated trace um, and I use two teaspoons for the 500 ml and then I add a half a teaspoon of azorbic acid and what the azorbic acid does is it stops um, the trace from going mouldy. Um, you don't need to put it in the macro but you do need to use it in the micro um, if you if, it, if you're going to keep it for a while um, it just stops any mold from building up inside um, and that is it that's all there is to making up um, your own fertilizer um, let's say that's that's 500 mils so that's going to last me quite a while um, the, the packets that you buy um, they last for ages um, I mean, this chelated trace, which is 250 grams, I've had for um, near on a year now. Um, and I've, it's, it's, it's silly money, it's, it's so cheap, it's unbelievable. Um, you can get the starter package, as I say, for about £18, um, and that's going to last you easily um, six months. Um, the only thing you might end up having to buy <coughs> a bit more of is the magnesium sulfate um, because you use quite a, quite a quantity of that in your mix um, but everything else will last you I say at least six months um, as I say I'm going to add some links um, to the information of the video um, just to help you a little bit more but um, it is so easy on the calculator, you just put your um, volume of water in, that you've got in your tank and it'll work out and tell you exactly what you need to use. Um, to be honest, the mix that I use um, will be suitable for pretty much every tank um, as long as you stick to the uh, 10 mil per 50 litre um, doses. Um, and the same with the trace. Um, the, the trace is the same, it's 10 mil per 50 litre. Um, and obviously that's going to last you longer than macro because you're only going to use that for two days of the week. So I hope that's put a few people's mind at rest on how easy it is to use dry salts for fertilising your tank.